Introduction? Sure. So, uh, this is opening the, the, is it the most exciting exhibition of the SID history so far ever? It's certainly the biggest ever in our history. Uh, probably also one of the most exciting ones. We have uh, great momentum in the display industry, foldable, rollable, you know, new types of form factors, OLED, full screen displays. It's really exciting time to be in this industry where not only are the displays getting better, but they're really growing into every part of our human life. So every single spot is booked out. Every spot is booked out. We had to actually extend all the way up to the capacity limit of the convention center. We had to get every single extra inch we could get. Uh, it is by far the largest, uh, massively larger than last year. And last year was already the largest in the last decade. So, uh, and the attendee count, the same, is uh, we're almost 2,000 people up from last year. And last year was larger than it has been since 2005. So it's up like 20% or more maybe the attendance? Uh, well, more than that. We were 25% we were up. Um, on final count of last year, uh, yesterday already at the pre-registration. So I'm not sure what we're going to And people are registered, like it's the only opening, the main event is opening now, so we, we might be very much 50% up, yeah. And uh, uh, so, should we try to make we, we will. So next year we'll be in San Francisco. Uh, we have a bigger convention center to play with, and we are fully planning to make it bigger and better every is year. Is it the Moscone Center or something else? Is that, yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like pretty big. It's pretty big. We have lots of room next year. And uh, the people start counting to the booth already? Yeah, so 85% of our booth space is booked at the show for the next show. Nice. And uh, so what are you going to be doing in there in the show? There's like so many things happening. You have to make sure everybody's happy? Or what do you yeah, my job is just to be master of ceremony and uh, introduce lots of events. Um, actually, my, my, only, <laughs> my only real uh, kind of professional contribution is I'm heading to the uh, panel on the investor conference right now. But other than that, um, you know, my job is to make sure everybody has a good time. Exactly. At what time? Is it half past or no? Uh, at at uh, 40. At 40, so yeah. you have still 10 minutes. So uh, what's going to happen there, the investor conference? Are you going to be like a bunch of billionaires and looking for opportunities? <laughs> billionaires or billionaires in the making. Are you one of we, them? <laughs> in the making. Okay. The, um, uh, so the investor conference is one of our specialty sub-conferences. It's a, it's a full day conference oriented towards the more, well, as you would think, the investment, startup, entrepreneurship part of the Spain industry. Like pitches? Uh, so there are some presentations like this. A lot of it is presentations about how to invest. Uh, it's bi-directional, so it's towards investors and towards future investees. So it's about how to secure venture capital in the display industry, how to finance display companies, how to work with startups in that sector and so forth. So it's a full day program. And you have experience in that. You've been That's what I do for a living. Cool uh, that's what I do for a living. What's so some of the latest stuff you, you're working on? Um, so I actually, I run a fund that creates its own companies. So we've created uh, 26 companies in the deep technology space. This is my day job beyond, uh, beyond SID. Um, 26, companies 26 companies. Just recently? In, or no. in, the, well, in the last few years. Um, so we, we create companies in uh, display, computer vision, imaging, uh, automotive, sensors, all the kind of good stuff that this industry does. And the, the people that work in those companies are a little bit distributed? or uh, So Europe actually, or? I live in uh, Montreal, in, in Canada, and so we build, uh, all our companies are synthetic, so we create them from scratch, and we created all of them in Montreal, so they're, they're all based around my There's office a lot of, there. a lot of cool stuff in Montreal? Uh, it's become the, the epicenter of this whole AI wave uh, because there's, a, there's a, you know, the, the deep learning evolution, which is the sort of foundation of what everybody calls AI now, uh, was really created by uh, three researchers, two of whom are in Eastern Canada, 
Uh, and so that has become sort of a center point for that area of development. And like we did in another video, we, you talked about the HDR that you were contributing that is to correct. make this, this happen a bunch of years ago, right? How many years that, ago? That, that's correct. So this is uh, about a decade ago. So I, uh, I co-founded a startup called Brightside, which uh, uh, invented the concept of local dimming LED TV, which then ultimately led to the HDR capabilities that we have today. Uh, sold that company to Dolby Laboratories, and so it's what you now call, uh, Dolby commercializes now as Dolby Vision. So I then ran Dolby's uh, Dolby Vision program for a few years. Nice, and how does it feel to see all the HDR being used now? It's exciting. I remember, I remember coming to SID, to, to this conference, in 2003, giving the first paper on local dimming HDR displays, and everybody thinking, well, that's crazy, we're going to put LEDs behind LCDs, like, how would we do that, why would we do this? Today, it is somewhere around 90, 95% of all displays on the planet are made as LED TVs, LED backlit LCDs, uh, and local HDR. Local dimming in 95, no. Sorry? It's just a small part that has local dimming, right? Or is it so, a big so part? We, we, uh, we, we invented and patented actually all aspects of it. So uh, two-dimensional dimming, one-dimensional dimming, uh, just backplanes. Remember, back in those days, LCDs had a, a flat backlight of, of uh, fluorescent tubes. So the, the concept of putting LEDs by an LCD has really taken the entire industry by storm. And then, um, uh, I mean, it's just so awesome that uh, Netflix, Amazon, all this, they're making everything HDR. Yep. That's so cool. So. Uh, the, uh, myself and more importantly a gentleman called Greg Ward who's actually here uh, we, we won a, an award together from SID for the creation of the HDR concept many years ago uh, Greg Ward is the inventor of that Kodak uh, that is now used pretty much by everybody on the Which planet Kodak? Uh, uh, the HDR the Dolby Vision HDR Codec that all this content is so do you have like an Oscar at home or? Uh, there is actually an Oscar for technical achievement for that yeah so that my team won uh, but I was I would, at, cool. at that point to be clear I'd moved on from from yeah. Dolby but the team that did that, including Greg, uh, won an Oscar for this. Nice. Uh, so it's around 10,000, maybe more people coming here, and it's, it's everybody that does everything in this place here, right? This is uh, this is a very high impact conference. So unlike a lot of conferences that are sort of consumer oriented, where you get a lot of variety of people attending, um, everybody here is in the display industry. Many, many of them are uh, experts, executive leaders. You just saw this. Uh, not just at the keynotes, but if you were at yesterday's award dinner, um, you know every name mentioned there is a, is a C-level executive from you know Samsung, B and E, Tianma, like some of the largest companies on the planet, um, and that concentration of, of expertise and uh, and credibility and market decision making power is what makes Display Week unique. The, is the president of BOE got uh, is here? The president of BOE is here. The chairman and founder of BOE is here. Uh, so this is somebody you from nothing in 25 years build a you know. A, tens of billions of dollar company. Potentially, they say number one in uh, in It's number volume. one in the display industry by volume, in phones and TVs, uh, in, in actually every display class. And uh, and then there's also Samsung. The CEO of Samsung the is here, the CTO Samsung. of Samsung of, of, of Samsung here. Display or Samsung? Samsung, Samsung. Display. And right. then, uh, which is also like leader in lots of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, and then uh, LG. LG is here uh, with, again, C-level all across the board. Um, we, you know, every every major display manufacturer is here, is present with their top executives. And the keynote of the Google uh, manager of the hardware at Google, which is also involved in trying to push new hardware into consumer, right? Yeah, and, and, and getting just new to be clear, not just the manager of uh, this is uh, uh, the the top executive vice president of Google's hardware operation reporting to the CEO. And so <laughs> we're doing name dropping a lot, right? But there's yep. a lot of others. Like the, the list keeps going on and on and on, right? So we have. Uh, senior executives from uh, essentially every single display maker on the planet, um, so uh, and from many of the integrators. The other part that is sort of a bit invisible, so the display makers are exhibiting here, but the other part of the conference that is extremely present are the integrators. So you know, there's hundreds of people here from all the com you know all the mobile phone integrators, every single one of them. Uh, for, you know, even if they're not exhibiting because they're not necessarily a display you know company, uh, they are the purchaser of these displays and they are present in force all across the board. And the iZone is going to show a bunch of cool stuff. So how, how long can it take? Is it sometimes some, some awesome things happen faster than people think? Some or stuff does can it happen take quickly. Than people think? Some stuff can happen quickly, but most of it takes a long time. So if you, we talked earlier about the local dimming HDR stuff, 2003, years ago. 2003 first paper, 2007 first sort of public demonstration of a production model and today global adoption. 
right? 16 years. Yeah. Which is relatively short compared to like 50 years for LCD. Uh, it's our, it's definitely accelerating, but it's still not short, short, right? It's still not overnight yeah, is success. Is there any chance to do things faster? Uh, well, how can things be done faster? Um, so the software parts can get faster, for sure. There's a lot of innovation in AI and other kind of aspects of utilizing software. That's happening faster. But the hardware part, uh, in the keynote from uh, BOE, you saw them talking about the timeline to build different generations of factories. Um, those, those, those fabs, those like Gen 10.5 fabs are tens of billions of dollars of cost. Entire cities are built around those fabs. So this is, it's not a trivial thing that you can just, aside from the R&D effort, uh, just actually realizing this product you know, and, and producing it. You have to remember that the display industry, uh, even though it's technically just a component supplier, is one of the largest industries on the planet. It's a you know, quarter trillion dollar industry of just that component supply that has become an integral part of our lives. Every you say quarter trillion? Yeah. 250 billion, yeah? It's a big world, yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, I interrupted yes. and you said... Uh, uh, it's in everywhere's life. Like, you you probably, I mean, you are, you're a technologist, so that's even worse, but most people have, you know, half a dozen, a dozen displays. They may not even think about it, right? Like, they have, of course, TVs and mobile phones, but they have them in their cars. They have them in their, you know, in their thermostats and their, in their picture frames, if they have digital picture frames. They have them at their office and their laptops and their desktops. Over Displays are everywhere. They're a key part of this whole society. And. Uh, what do you think about those uh, uh, printed displays? They're really happening, or it's going to be like a bunch of printed displays? There's a maybe big part in the future. It, eventually, you heard the you heard the keynote speaker from Google will have every surface in the in the home being a display at some point. And this is not a vision of 50 years. I'm not sure if it's five years, but it's somewhere in you know in the three to ten year range. 